What's going on guys? I'm Nathan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do fishing technique videos, DIY projects, kayak mods, gear and bait reviews. So if you're into that kind of thing, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of, the, of a video that you would like me to make. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my brand new paddle. Stick around. Alright guys, so I was able to upgrade my kayak paddle. Um, I've had this paddle, this Magellan No Limits Outdoors paddle for about two years. It was given to me by a good buddy of mine um, and I've just used it ever since. I use it in my sit on top or my sit inside rather and it's perfect length for that. Right, But when I transition to a sit on top, the Pelican Catch 120 that I fish out of now, it's not long enough. And what it causes me to do is it causes me to cross my center line, right? My hand has to come all the way over here to get the other blade, my left blade, or vice versa, um, get the opposite blade in the water, which means that the water, instead of hitting the drip rings and falling down into the water, it comes directly off the blade and onto me. And on colder days, not so much fun. Um, warmer days, I don't really care because, you know, it keeps me cool, but that's neither here nor there. So I was able to get a Werner. Um, I bought it off Amazon so it didn't come in any fancy packaging, just a box uh, wrapped in some plastic. <clears throat> so that's not the important part, but this is the important part, okay? It came with this little pamphlet, if you will. Here's the, here's the one I got. You got the Skagit hooked, okay? 250 centimeters, okay? Um, that's important, I'm gonna tell you guys why later. Okay, this Magellan's Outdoors paddle is 94 inches or 230 centimeters, right? That is too short, as I said before. Um, the paddle I went with is 250 centimeters. Now, the cool thing about this pamphlet is it has a bunch of info inside and it gives you a chart. Let's see if I can get that to focus so you guys can see it. Leave it up there for a little bit. All right has a chart and it tells you style the style of kayak um the boat width and the paddler height it's important it also has a seat height on there okay um now the reason i went with a 250 centimeter paddle is because i'm under six feet and i'm fishing from a raised seat um typically that's 250 to 260 centimeters. Um, I went with the shorter of those two uh, due to the fact for storage and stuff like that. But without further ado, here's the paddle. Okay, this is what it looks like. All right, Werner's gotta get hooked. The, uh, the blades, they're thinner than the Magellan, but not by much. Okay, I don't think that's gonna be that big of an issue. Um, as far as the durability, they feel a lot more durable than that. <clears throat> than the uh, Magellan paddle. The shaft or handle, if you will, is carbon fiber, which is nice. Uh, it has a little chart on there, right? Or your ferrule, right? You can put different ferrules on it from zero all the way up to 60, okay? And even further, because they go all the way around, okay? And how that, that little system works see if I can do this backwards to show you guys, okay? There's a little hole in this other end right here, and that's where you see your number of what the ferrule is, okay? We'll see, we'll put it in there straight for now with a zero, boom. All right, so now that ferrule, that's a zero setting, okay? And then you pull it out and you can change it, okay? Let's see, that's, that's nothing, okay? Let's see, 60, 60, boom. All the way up to 60, okay, even further. Now, why is that important? All right, so what a lot of paddlers do, I'll get this shorter paddle and I'll show you guys. Um, they, they tend to have their, their blades set the same, right? So what does that mean? That means that they're set like this, okay? Boom, right? They're set flat with each other. Now, what a ferrule is, is it allows you to have an offset of your blades, okay? 
Um, and I know Chad Hoover has a couple videos, really good videos of, you know, why that's important, but I'll, ju I'll just explain it to you. So if you're, if you're paddling into the wind, so you have wind coming at your head, a headwind, right? And you're paddling into it. When you bring that flat blade up to move it and put it in the water to propel yourself forward again, right? The wind's going to hit that. And if you have a ferrule this, where it's cutting through the wind, it's going to, you know, save you a lot of energy. Um, and not tire you out when you're paddling all day okay all right so one more thing i want to talk about is these drip rings okay now they're nice and snug i'm sure after some use they're going to loosen up but what i like about them is look at how they're shaped okay all right now look at this other drip ring so it's mint to hold to, for the water to hit and then drip out like this okay but what happens is this holds water right and it's not it's not tied against the shaft or the handle if you will so the water just leaks through and down onto your hands all right another drawback of the cheaper paddle is it has these handles why might you ask because that that forces your hands to be set in a certain position whereas this other handle right has no handles which means i can put my hand anywhere and be comfortable okay so bottom line is um, if you're able to get a paddle like this, this Werner paddle, do it, okay? Do it starting out. Um, as Chad Hoover says, buy a cheaper kayak and go with a more expensive paddle because your paddle is one of the most important things you use besides your PFD, okay? Well, that's all I got today, guys. So again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, spread the word, try to build a community here. And as I always say, let's make the world better and you guys have a great day.